Hi, this is Joe N2QOJ with a very short tutorial on how to use APRS.FI website in order to view various APRS uh, capable handhelds or mobiles uh, that you may be interested in. So, first order business is uh, proceed to the APRS website. That's APRS.FI. And I'm already logged in. I have an account, so you can see the status here with my mouse. Uh, it knows me, and that's free, by the way. It knows me, so it knows my base location is uh, the valley area, and it's centered on that. And it figures that out from computer access and so forth, not necessarily reported location at this point in time. So um, here we are in our area. I'll just zoom in. The map is very responsive, similar to you know standard Google Map, and you can have various layers of um, satellite and so forth, with labels or without. And you can see as time goes on here, the various vehicles in the area are beginning to report in, and you can see here the vehicles. As I place my mouse cursor on a vehicle, um, if it's an RF-based APRS vehicle meaning it's transmitting its location to a, um, a digipeter of some t sort. Um, you can see the red line that pops up, and that is the actual RF communication line based on its path of data to this, uh, to this item here, to this radio station here, which is, that's a symbol for a digipeter, and that's the information. It's obviously located in uh, the Usury Mountain Park range, okay? So that's some of the things you can do. If it was, um, oh, let me go back. So if it was uh, a TCP IP or internet based position reporting like from a smartphone, um, it would say so in, in the uh, description of the um, packet here. Uh, it would say via TCP IP. And here, this Digipeter is actually itself putting the RF information that it's receiving and transmitting, or at least receiving, onto the APRS network via internet, which is typical of all Digipeters, or most Digipeters. So, now, how do we, let's, let's look here. At the right side here, I can track a call sign. Let me track mine, N2QOJ-9, okay? And you'll see that it'll pick up the latest or last APRS packet information for me. And here it is. And this was uh, from yesterday at noon. Okay, and there I am. But let's let's add another to it. Let's let's add let's add uh, Bruce KF6EZT-9. And now I'm tracking two call signs. Okay. And here you see, and the, the map will size accordingly. There's me, and there's Bruce, who lives very close by. All right, let's add, let's add another, and we'll see the map size change. Let's let's map um, and track as well. Uh, John N7AZ-10. Now it'll pick up the information for the last uh, APRS packets, and you can see here down below is um, myself and Bruce very close in the Cortina development and here's John uh, and this is the last information they had John was go coming in via TCP IP via an Android phone and he was obviously uh, around the um, uh, well I don't know where he was but I think he was telling us he was going to go do some hiking again uh, and the last information from him is from Saturday on the 5th, right? That would be Saturday or Friday? Friday. And I think he went hiking on Friday. So that's the uh, last information. Well, that's great. Now that's three. Let's expand this. Let me go to the end of this. And let, let's, show, let's show our sponsor and friend or help on the technical side here, WB7TUJ-10. And now we'll uh, expand that to include him as well. Now you see on the right here, while it's doing this, I'm building a list here of all tracked vehicles, right? And I can get information if I mouse over. But here's all the information when they were last updated. And here, also by TCP IP, which is an APRS Android phone, capable phone, 
uh, is um, is uh, Doug's. Okay. Well, that's great, and the and it's sized. It. Let's do just one more to give you an idea, and let's do Terry, who is in a big rig all over the country. And I got his call wrong. W5NRA-14. All right. Now, if, if he's online with APRS information, we'll get him. And there you go. Here's the concentration of all our Phoenix area friends. And the map is now sized to include uh, our friend Terry, who happens to be mobile in uh, Louisiana. And his last report was uh, of today at 7.34 in the morning local time to me. That's what I've been set up. And you can see his comment here, his APR is coming. I've been everywhere, man. Uh, and so now we've got everybody in the list here, okay, with the latest reports. So that's a quick way. There's a lot more you can do. You can also get information on any one of these vehicles. Click on them, click on info, and it'll tell you everything. What's the nearest APR stations close to that vehicle? Uh, you can get into messaging and all kinds of things as well. But that gives you a quick view. And we'll go back to map view. And we are going to just go to my local area, say Sir Show All. Oh, that's for where Terry is. And to QOJ-9. By the way, those were only those vehicles only the tractor vehicles would show on the map. Nothing else would show. If I say show all now for this area, besides myself, it's going to bring in the weather reports and all other stations as they report. If I click on me, I can also say stop tracking. Okay? Or if he's moving, if I was moving, I can say track and street view. So as the map updates with my movement, so will the top portion of the screen, which is a Google Street View. This was very nice. I used it yesterday for tracking one of us, and uh, it's great. So that's another nice tool. Either you see the open road or local streets. It's a great thing. You can close it by clicking on the X. So that's it. If you've got any questions for me about PPRS, I've been using it a long time, and I even use some client software as well. But if you have Internet connectivity, this is one of the easiest ways to sit back and, and follow your friends balloons, whatever the case may be. So take care. Thank you very much.